Hey guys, what's in this video? I'm going to show you how to unlock the bootloader of the Sony Xperia Z2 phone here that I have connected. Okay, as you can see, the blue light. Now, it's a not so difficult procedure, it's just you just have to focus it. It's an easy one here. Uh, so, first of all, uh, make sure you visit the link in the description. It will be a link of uh, Sony's unlocking bootloader site here and from there you gotta select um, uh, you gotta select the uh, your device and uh, there will be a couple of devices and uh, you have the Xperia Z2 you have to select it and when you select the Xperia Z2 uh, they will give you a number now all you need to do is go to your uh, dialer app and enter that number and when you enter that number there will be some cool little options of your phones you have to go to configuration then rooting and then you then your device uh, will uh, say whether it, its bootloader can be unlocked or not if it say no then sorry you are not lucky but if it say yes then it means that you can proceed and when you click on the proceed option you have to enter the email and then they will give you um, your unlock cord and sets of uh, steps that you have to do to unlock your device now as you can see I am at this point here uh, I got their email and then I am here to unlock my device here I got the code, uh, specific code for my device uh, so as you can see this is the procedure that they have written on their site and as you can see so uh, it's not a difficult one so first of all uh, you have to download and install this over here called as the Android uh, okay. Focus, focus. So in. It's not focusing. Okay. It's called as Android SDK. Oh, now it's focused. Now it's called as Android SDK. You gotta download it. And also, once you download it, you have to extract it anywhere on your desktop. As you can see, I have it right now. ADD, ADT bundle. This folder here. Now in this folder. Uh, you will be getting this uh, USB underscore driver folder uh, I have extracted or you can say I have placed it on, uh, here from this folder now you can see in this folder I have uh, some USB set here now I have the latest fastboot driver here this is the main thing fastboot driver now first of all if you have it already it will not work for you because you have to install the latest one uh, which I have also downloaded from here now everything is written here so you also need to download and install an updated fast driver as you can see and then all you need to do is go to device manager okay let's just show you all of this stuff here go to start menu and then type device manager okay device manager the device manager now this is the device manager over here now we have the uh, uh, on other devices you can see is calling as the Android ADB interface now once, once your devi uh, device drivers has been fastboot drivers, uh, drivers has been installed it will call as Android ADB interface and if they are not installed then there will be it, then this was, device will be called as S1 boot device uh, which means uh, it, uh, the drivers for this device is not installed and there will also be a uh, exclamation mark um, also so which means that uh, the device drivers are not installed fastboot drivers are not installed so uh, all you need to do is you need to replace this file with the latest one that you will download here this is the when you click on it you will download it uh, you will get this file this is the file okay this fastboot file over here now when you extract it you will get only uh, this 2kb file here 5kb actually android underscore win usb dot inf now you just gotta uh, place it into that uh, replace the uh, file here already in this usb folder which is the previous one now this is a main step over here uh, now after you have done that all you need to do is you need to go to the AT bundle here then go to SDK and hold shift 
and right click the platform tools like this and you will get this option called as open command window here as you can see I've already opened it up then you have to type fastboot devices as you can see here um, you have to type fastboot space devices and it will give you um, this kind of number here now it means that my device is working now I have to enter some final stuff here which will be the code that they send me the unlock code for my device that I will be copying it from here uh, for my bootloader okay let's unlock it copy and I will be pasting it without typing it in this uh, over here this command window now the type and now I'm gonna press enter waiting for the device let's see what will happen here it's a show me some number and I have to wait for the device to actually show me some stuff here then it will work still waiting for the device here okay let's reconnect it okay so when also there's another step here that I want to talk about is when you connect your Xperia Z2 over here make sure you also hold it down the uh, volume up button here at the same time when you connect the USB cable here so that's also something that you have to do I'm going to place the camera here I'm going to do it take some time volume up ok I've done it at the same time kind of like it's the same time ok it's set to ok not sure ok now I'm going to try again saying like ok I think it's done but I'm going to paste again ok the device is already rooted failed the remote device is already rooted I think bootloader has been unlocked ok let's trying to turn it on I think I have to disconnect it first now as you can see my device has now been uh, at the unlocked bootloader here my Sony Xperia Z2 my newest device here and as you can see now it's here in some Android recovery stuff uh, so, sorry about my video recording skills here uh, for these kind of videos I uh, don't use my tripod so it's just all a mess here I was studying now, as you can see some loading here some recovery icon I'm not sure what's gonna happen next but I've done it uh, I actually didn't wait it I disconnected my device then when I connected again it kinda like uh, this came up okay so I'm sure it worked uh, I hope I haven't messed up my device spare icon here so um, I will be installing a lot of custom stuff here on this device so make sure you subscribe to my channel and okay, it's taking some time. It's all about the fast boot driver. Make sure you have it. Then you can simply proceed to the uh, final step. There is actually no final step. That's is the first step. Is the final step. You just have to copy your code. Uh, with that uh, line that is already written there, you just got to copy and paste it in the command prompt, and everything will work. So, um, taking some time here. Not sure why. Okay, power off. 
Okay, 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 okay. I am using English. United States. Okay, done. I'm aware of this information. Done. Okay. To ensure the quality of the device, check for it. Okay. Done. To improve quality and enhance. Done. Now I'm pretty sure that my device has now a unlocked bootloader because my device has been cleaned up which means when you unlock bootloader you lose everything I've lost everything here um, I don't have Asphalt 8 anymore cause that's the game that I installed last uh, last night so I've lost that data too so I'm pretty sure now my device has been unlocked so if you have any questions any doubts and also uh, anything you want to ask you can just comment down below and I will be making a lot of custom ROM stuff and some rooting stuff with this phone and hopefully in the near future because it, this is one of my long term devices that I got it's not for just review it's a uh, full long term device uh, with me so yes thanks for you guys and I will see you in my next video peace out